Every once in a while, I'll see a comment stating something to the effect of the writers wrote off a character because they didn't have anything to do with them anymore, or they just didn't need the character anymore, so they just got rid of them. But there are a few issues with that line of thinking. For one, it ignores the idea that actors can choose to do something other than Degrassi. Degrassi isn't necessarily going to be the height of your career as an actor depending on what your goals are. Or maybe it's not even that you want a different acting job, maybe you just don't want to act at all. Like with the actress who played Liberty. If I remember correctly, after she was done with Degrassi, she kind of dropped out of the acting world and decided to pursue a different career. Sure, she stayed on even a little after graduation and has come back for cameos since, but that's obviously a decision that she made. She could have told the showrunners, nah, I don't want to come back for a cameo in season two of Next Class. And perhaps that's why we don't see a lot of characters after they've graduated. One of the ones that always comes up is how they apparently forgot that Darcy exists and is Claire's sister, but there's not really much the show can do when the actress who played Darcy doesn't want to act on Degrassi anymore. Now, I'm I'm not certain if that's the case and that she actually didn't want to come back anytime she could, but seeing as she left the show to join the cast of 90210, I think it's safe to say that she had her hands full already. People's lives don't revolve around Degrassi like it does for some of us. Which brings me to another issue with this thinking. The show writers are really limited by what they can get. If they can't have Darcy be there for Claire when she has cancer, then they can't write that into the script. Unless you get super lucky, it's really noticeable and distracting if you use a different actor than the original. And if your actors suddenly have to leave and there's not enough time to have a proper send off on the show, then you're kind of stuck saying something like, oh, they moved away, or they're going to Africa, or even quietly implying that they transferred to a different school. For instance, one of the cases I see brought up every once in a while is what happened to Leia? Well, if you listen to one of the season 10 audio commentaries, they explain that pretty soon after her last appearance, she got accepted into Harvard. And when it comes to the decision between studying at an Ivy League school or acting on a teen show, it's not a very hard decision. Of course, that doesn't change the fact that it sucks that she left so quickly and that there seemed to be quite a bit of potential that they were looking to bring out of the character, but c'est la vie. There's also the fact that the writers don't control the show. In the end, the direction of how the show goes is ultimately decided by who's ever on top of them. It's really the exception for a screenwriter to actually have control over what happens in their work. There's always producers to appease, directors, really the people who have the power to make such decisions are editors and those actually giving money to keep the show going. Anyone familiar with comic books will be well aware of the infamous editorial mandate. Now I'm not saying, and I'm also not aware of any instances of editorial interference or interference from the higher ups affecting the storylines, but it's not something that we can rule out even in a show like Degrassi. Making a TV show, especially one like this, is really complicated, it involves a lot of different people with their own goals and ambitions and their own idea of what they want the end product to look like. In some cases, there is one person to blame. It's really something to consider next time you think, why didn't this character stick around? It sucks when characters just suddenly disappear off to grassy, but that's life. I'm sure if everything went the way the writers wanted them to, there'd be far fewer names on that list of those who just seemed to drop off into the ether. Well, that was a short video. I thought I'd have a lot more to say on this, but eh. Thank you so much for consuming my video, and until next time.